All right, in this lesson, we're gonna go over an exchange that lacks commercial substance, but cash was received. And so we talked about an exchange that lacks commercial substance, so if it doesn't really increase you know, the value that would, you would get, then you would defer the gain or the loss. So we don't even include the gain and loss, even though we may have a gain or a loss, because our book value and our fair market value are gonna be different. So in this example, the only thing that we're adding from the last lesson or the last example was that cash was received. Now, when we say cash is received, we call it boot, okay? Um, that's what it means. So if cash was received, we call it boot received, okay? Uh, not a cowboy boot, just a boot, okay? So in this example, Mickey Mouse, again, trades a used piece of equipment. Uh, for another one from Donald Duck, the exchange lacks commercial substance. The used equipment had a book value of 45,000, which means it had an historical value of 65 minus the accumulated depreciation of $20,000. Fair market value is still 52,000. However, in this case, Donald Duck gives up a piece of equipment worth 48. Okay, so th thinking about how this is going, I have a $52,000 piece of equipment, I'm not just gonna trade it for a $48,000 piece of equipment. Because what I would have done is sold the $52,000 $52, piece of equipment, received the cash, took the cash, paid $48,000, which means I would have had $4,000 in cash. So in order to make up for that, Donald Duck says, okay, we're gonna give you $4,000 in cash as well. So 48 plus four is 52. Boot is received by the duck. Okay, so again, I'm the duck, and if I'm, sorry, boot is received by the mouse. If I'm the mouse, okay, I'm gonna have to include some of that gain. Why? Because GAP says that if there is some cash received, we have to recognize a gain, okay? Some portion of the gain, okay? So if we go back to here for a minute, we're giving up a $52,000 piece of equipment. It's in our books for $45,000 which means our gain is going to be $7,000. Now, GAP says that because we received $4,000 in cash, it doesn't mean that we have to recognize all $4,000 of cash as far as, boot, uh, as far as gain is concerned. Okay? Even though we have a $7,000 gain here, we're still receiving four, which is underneath the seven. GAP says that we don't need to include all $4,000 in the gain. Okay? That's kind of stinks. Okay? Oh, you got 4,000 in cash, well you would have had 7,000 in gain, so we're gonna make you book all that. Um, so we're gonna use an equation, the equation's right here. We're gonna do cash received divided by cash received plus fair market value of asset received, or in this case, it could have been just fair market value of item received by the duck, but in this case, fair market, fair market value of asset received to the mouse times the total gain. What we're doing here is we're trying to find what percentage of this gain are we going to have to actually book based on what we received, okay? So cash received, I received 4,000 in cash, divided by cash received again, plus fair market value of asset received, 48,000, okay? And we're going to multiply it by the gain, which is $7,000. How do we calculate the seven? 52 minus 45 gives us seven, okay? So 4,000 divided by 52 gets us seven point seven percent. Now on your calculator, it would say 0 0.0769. I'm using a percentage here because that's essentially what that is, times $7,000, okay? So what we're saying here is we're gonna take 7.5% of this total gain that we technically should have deferred, but because we're receiving boot, we have to include some gain. So we're gonna take 7.5% 7 of the 7,000 and we're gonna get $538.46. And again, if you want around $538, okay? So in this case, 
Even though we receive $4,000 in cash, we're only going to report $538 as far as the gain is concerned. So how would our journal entries look like? Now the journal entries by this point, you probably have down pat. We've got debit the equipment, uh, the new equipment for $41,538. and 46 cents. Now you might say, well, how did you get that? Well, we took the fair market value of the new equipment, which is 48,000, minus the gain that's deferred. So remember from last um, lesson, we def the gain that we're gonna defer, we subtract from it. Well, the gain that we would have deferred was 7,000 minus 538, which would give us 6,000 four hundred and sixty one dollars and fifty four cents that's what we're going to get that's what we're going to defer of the seven thousand we either defer it or we report it well we're reporting for five hundred and thirty eight which means we're going to defer the rest we're going to defer six thousand seven six thousand four sixty one and fifty four cents if we take what we received of forty eight thousand dollars subtracted from six thousand four sixty one and fifty four cents we should get $41,538.46. So that's why we have this odd number and we haven't talked about it yet. So debit the new equipment for $41,538. We're gonna receive cash, so cash. How much are we receiving? We're receiving $4,000. Okay. And then we have to get rid of accumulated depreciation, the old one, $20,000. We have to get rid of the historical book value, so equipment of the new, 65, okay? And then all we have left is the gain. So gain, 538, okay? And again, if you do the math, um, we should get the same number here in the credits as the debit, so that would be four, 61, 65, 5, 38, 46, 5, 38, 46, okay? So again, this example isn't different than the other examples that we talked about. The only difference here is boots received, boot meaning cash was received by the mouse in the case of $4,000. GAP says that we are going to allocate a percentage of the boot received to gain. In this case, 7.7% .7 of the four thousand of uh, the seven thousand dollars is going to be um, the gain. So again, small little differences. Journal entry stays the same. Um, all we're doing is figuring out. Really, all we're doing is trying to figure out this here: how much gain. Remember, this is an example that lacks commercial substance and is an exchange, but cash is received. Okay, so that's it.